not everything when it comes to health, but without it, everything is nothing. Welcome to our show, Creek Kitchen Treasures. In our kitchen, you will be discovering lots and lots of treasures. And these treasures can actually prevent you from diseases or even reverse diseases. And these are so simple treasures like your fruits and vegetables, nuts and grains. These foods can actually give you good amount of vitamins and minerals, phytochemicals, fibers, and lots and lots of antioxidants. In our kitchen, you will discover that we have lots and lots of native foods here. When we say native foods, these are indigenous foods. Foods that are available in your local market or maybe just at the back of your, gar uh, of your house, your garden. You too can also have this indigenous vegetable. For the past episodes, we were sharing with you so simple recipes. And today, I'm so excited to have another show. And it is actually so simple. Those of you who are, you know, the Filipinos are so excited and so, so fond of eating bagoong. And with us here is a friend. She's actually one of the staff here in HCBN, His Coming Broadcasting Network. And this lady is a very talented lady, a young lady. You know, so busy doing um, many uh, technicalities here in the studio. But she's also good in cooking. Come here, Mayan. Mayan actually has a very good recipe. And she has lots and lots of native recipes here. Actually, we are eating here in the studio. And we every moment that we eat here, we have all the time surprises and exciting recipes new inventions yes. huh? mm -hmm. here in HGP is always invention 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 so. yeah so today we will be sharing with you a recipe that um we got this actually from the north mm -hmm. from my sister we call it bagoong you know the ilocanos are really fond of eating bagoong it's actually a salted sauce originally bagoong is from the fish right yes yes yeah. those like Rotten fish? Yeah, <laughs> it's a fish that is salted and um, it is actually, uh, it serves as an appetizer, mm -hmm. just an appetizer. But today we will be making a vegetarian bagoong. Huh? Yeah, so nice. our ingredients are so available and so cheap. They are available in the market whole year round. Huh? Mm -hmm. And it is just tomatoes. Okay, um, tomatoes and then... Um, black salted beans mm. this and then garlic. When I read this a while ago, this, the, this salted beans, yeah, these are actually soya beans. I was quite surprised. Yeah, soya, black soya beans, black soya beans, but mm. it is salted. So, this can actually serve you a salt. No, we will not be putting lots of this. Okay. So, this one is just for the for the seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all we have to do is grind. So we will be grinding this this ingredients using our very powerful, <laughs> <laughs> very powerful uh, blender. Yes. So maybe I'll do the blending. Yeah, I'll cut this vegetable into small pieces so so that we'll have easier time in easier time in grinding. Okay, so you can cut any, anyhow. We have a very nice knife. <laughs> very nice knife. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can use the other one. Okay, so maybe we can we can just have a few of this. By the way, this one is better when you use the real ripe tomatoes. But this time we don't we we weren't able to buy the. Oh, those really red ones. Yeah, the red those ones. About to, you know, to go, to go rot. <laughs> oh, it's just over a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, the right word. A little okay. bit overripe. Okay, so we can grind this in our blender. I'll do it. Just put a little so that okay, you know we okay. we can have really the smoothy tomato. It's it must really turn into paste. So is this okay, Doc? Yeah. Okay. So we can turn blend that. Let's see if I know how to blend. <laughs> yeah, so if you if you will be doing this, be sure that you have a good blender. Because we will not we will not be putting any water. 
Oh, okay, we have so a good I blender, though. We have a good blender, huh? <laughs> now the blender is cooperating. <laughs> <laughs> because last time in our show, the blender has a problem. But anyway, we can just do... So should I yeah, add, add everything mm -hmm. with the garlic. Garlic can actually add the good flavor. Okay. And later, we will so, be putting... So, uh, about the garlic, Doc, um, it depends on how much you want to yeah. put in. If you want strong flavor, you can add more garlic. Mm. But those of you who are not really fond of eating garlic, just put little. But anyway, this is just like a dip. So, you'll not be eating that much. It is just like a sauce or... Okay, so, we have to grind it. We have a strong blender. <laughs> And then, this one is your taste. Uh, Ooh, so your, we have to add that too. Yeah, this one is your salted soybeans. Now, if you want really salty, what I mean is, it's just like real bagoong. You have to add more. But if you mm. want low salt, just add few seeds, a uh, few seeds maybe, few Doc, beans. When I opened the can a while ago, there was this um, sauce, the the watery part of. No, the, you don't need. You don't to need put. to put it. Okay, so you have to. Discard the so the, the water because we don't want watery mm. bagoong. We want it like uh, like a paste. Mm, okay. yeah? So the black beans also will add color yes, to your to your bagoong, and it can actually add smell. So is this enough, Doc, or should yeah. I continue? It's some more, some more. All right. Okay, I think that's enough. Right. So here comes the bagoong. Once it is already, you know, uh, you know, equally blended, like mm. it is like, it smells good. It huh? smells like. You're now ready to heat this one. Cook. Yeah. At least, we want to cook the tomatoes so that you can enhance really the lycopene. The lycopene can actually reduce your risk for cancer, especially you gentlemen who are watching right now. It can protect you from prostate cancer. And for ladies, yeah, it can also give us protection from other cancers like breast. And mm. according to study, lycopene can protect you from your neck and your head cancer. So... And also from so many degenerative diseases. So mm -hmm. we will be cooking now our so tomato I... bagoong. Right. Let's do this. Just low fire maybe can do. Oh. Yeah. So you will be we will be needing a ladle. Low fire only doc. Yeah. So we just want to remove the 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 water mm -hmm. we want to thicken this one now? yeah sure the smell of the black beans is really strong Aye. okay so now if you don't have black beans maybe you can just substitute with the regular beans but you have to put salt but mm. this time because this one is really, it's really salty Salted. So we cannot we cannot add any more mm -hmm. salt. So why is why don't we I mean why didn't we add the oil, Doc? I mean usually when we do something like yeah. this, you can have two options here. Like if you will be putting oil, you can saute it actually in garlic and oil if you like. That's another option. But this time we did not put any oil because um, we can use this in the future. Use like sometimes we can put this in the salad mm -hmm. or. Maybe in wow. your fried tofu, it, is, wow. it has already oil and then if you will be adding another oil, that can be mm. too much for, for, for us. Now, the best way to eat this one is with the mango. So maybe while you're doing that, All I'll right. be preparing the Manila mango. And actually, this one is... These mangoes are from Guimaras. <laughs> oh, really? Huh? So Guimaras should really be... Yes, delicious mango. Because I think Gimaras, they're known for you know main, exporting mangoes to other countries. So, and if if Manila mango is not available, 
the best way is just get your your Indian mango. Oh, Indian mango is okay, really so good. Okay, so Indian mango can can be the best partner mm -hmm. for this. Because it, the taste of Indian mango is not that um, sour. It's it has this sweety feel. And in, Indian mango is not really expensive. If it is season, you can have it for only ten pesos, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how many minutes should we do this dog? Should Until we it becomes, we would like to enhance the umami. The umami actually is a glut glutamic acid. Mm. It can actually substitute to our, you know, seasoning. We mm -hmm. don't want monosodium glutamate, right, as vet seen. But, you know, tomatoes have its own natural umami. Umami is embedded in your tomato so that's the reason why you have to cook it to enhance the umami mm. the umami is the flavor and when you when you cook it good you will re really discover that umami is enhanced the flavor is enhanced it's smelling good already plus of course we have placed here garlic and and the unique seasoning mm. from the soybeans black soybeans so, so later, we can place here later can we add this later if or? you want higher you know higher salt and mm. what i mean more, more salty. salty effect yeah. you can add more of this but it must really be you know it must really be um pureed mm -hmm. and then sometimes if mango is not available, you can use your, you can use your, what's this? The sinkamas or turnips or... Yakun is okay with this. Oh. Mm. So, Doc, can we put this in like beans? Yeah. Like we boil beans and then we put it? Is yeah, it that okay? can be the seasoning for your beans, uh -huh. plain boiled beans. Or, you know, you can also put this in your, in your boiled vegetable. like. Really? Your talbos ng kamote or kangkong or last time we had um, lagikway, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, lagikway is good. It's good for this one. So even okra, you boil the okra and then you can have that kind of mm -hmm. dip. Okay. So is it okay if we use this for like um, for bread? You put it on top of the bread. Is it okay? <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but okay. I think it can be good also. Especially if the bread is toasted, yeah. Wow, I think that 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 is that's going to be good. I think. Mm -hmm. Or have you t tried this putting it on top of like the chapati? Uh, I think yeah, we can use this in the chapati, but not so thick because it's salty. Mm -hmm. um, we can just have a smear maybe of the the bagoong. Now those of you <laughs> who are. <laughs> Okay, those of you who are Ilocanos, you know uh, the perfect combination of bagoong and vegetable. So instead of doing your your regular uh, bagoong thing, mm -hmm. you can have this vegetarian bagoong. And it's not it's not only the salt that we are really interested in this kind of recipe, but we're also interested in the effect of in the uh, the health benefit mm -hmm. of the tomatoes so doc um in doing this doc should is it really um in, important to continue um continue what do you call this stirring continue stirring it yeah the stirring actually has a, an effect because uh -huh. it you know you are exposing some of the fluids and yes. it can fasten the cooking and another thing is it will prevent from you know sticking and you know you can have it um, you can have the equal cooking when you keep on stirring. Mm. I think that's, that's done. That is okay. okay. So aside from just garlic, can we add and black beans with tomatoes? Can we add other other, other spices? Beans. Yeah, other oh, spices or add, other beans. Add like cayenne or those um, silly. Yeah, you can add cayenne mm. or you can even try adding oregano in here. So yeah, this is okay If, if you put oregano, that becomes... Um, a little bit you know unique it's not bagoong anymore what Sounds we're good. duplicating right now is the ilocano bagoong mm. are the designs fond of eating bagoong and it looks the uh, native it, 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 it looks like you know it looks saucy looking you know 
Is so, this okay, Doc? Yeah, we, maybe we can just put uh, a little in here. Wow. Okay, so... It's a, it's a very easy recipe. Now, the good thing here is you can cook, main, you can cook like one kilo and then the rest you can put this in the in the in the wrap maybe mm. for future use that's the purpose of doing you know mass production mm -hmm. because it's hard really doing all the time the blending and the cooking this because of its high a little bit high in salt mm. that can actually preserve our product oh yes the good thing in in tomato is it besides the lycopene it has also anthocyanin and it has also carotene, right? The, and there are lots, I personally believe there are lots and lots of antioxidants in this tomato. According to research, there might be 10,000 phytochemicals hidden in your tomato. Some are already known, but many more are still unknown. So we better maximize cookeries in tomato. This looks fine already, Doc. Is yeah, so okay? I think that's enough. That's enough. So this is, this is like... This yeah. should be the consistency of it. Yeah. It looks like bagoong, huh? Yes, it does. And it smells it really, smells really good. Really bagoong. And it's healthy. Mm -hmm. No fish, mm -hmm. no purine, no yes. cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> so it, besides the phytochemicals, tomato also is really high in vitamin C, vitamin A. And it is so unique because it is also high in fiber. There, they had a study comparing the umami of tomato comparing the umami of the you know the inner part of the tomato and the outer part they have discovered that the umami is higher in the inside what i mean that inside of the tomato the inside of the inside part of the tomato can actually give you you enhance the flavor that's the reason why sometimes people are removing the skin mm -hmm. but we don't want to throw the fiber from the skin so this time we just cooked everything blend everything wow so doc um i've seen a lot of people take out the seeds the tomato seeds yeah, because they're not, afraid of mm. sometimes appendicitis. Mm. No, don't worry. This, this, the seeds of the tomatoes can hurt you. It will not hurt, harm you. It is not the, actually the cost of your appendicitis. It, in appendicitis. Appendicitis is inflammation. Whether you eat tomatoes, seeds or not, if there is inflammation, it will re really give you trouble. Mm -hmm. But you know when the seeds have actually con um, unique phytochemicals so you better get the seeds Ooh. and it is also high in fiber okay so we better do this one now modifying is another one huh um, if, if black beans is not available you can even put you can even put red kidney beans okay yeah red kidney beans or um, what's this the garbanzos mm -hmm. okay so garbanzos can be placed in here or to make it a little bit unique, you can also have the tofu here. Really? Yeah. So you can have salted tofu. No, the plain tofu, so and that mashed, it becomes. Yeah, you, have, tofu. you can grind it oh, uh, with the tomatoes. Right, your right. tofu. Okay. So I think this is good, Doc. So now let us see if we can taste the I'm the glutamic <laughs> effect of the tomato, and it is really like really. I, I'm afraid this is. This is Lacking, just for me. Yes. <laughs> because I think Filipinos are really fond of eating hilaw na manga or yeah. um, unripe mango. Now, if if can I put it now? Doc? Medium ripe or unripe mango is not available. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can use papaya. Medium ripe papaya. Oh, I think papaya with um, the ripe papaya and the unripe papaya. Do they have different different phytochemicals or different? Yeah. When, nutrients. when the papaya matures, there are some nutrients also that are enhanced. Mm -hmm. When the papaya becomes much, now comparing it to the unripe or to the, to the ripe, like tomatoes, um, comparing the vitamin C and the vitamin A, sometimes if it is really, really the red tomato, mm, red you can see that red. vitamin A is really high. But of course, you have to consider the exposure to light and to air. Sometimes vitamin C goes down, but other nutrients goes up. 
That's the reason why we cooked our tomatoes today because mm -hmm. we want to enhance lycopene. Lycopene is enhanced when you heat the tomato. So God is really good to yes, us, huh? Yes. He wants us to enjoy really our food. Like eating the green tomato is has unique nutrients comparing it to the ripe tomato. But when you cook it, it has unique nutrients mm. and phytochemicals compared to the ripe and to the um, to unripe tomato fresh. But when you turn this into juice, oh again, yes, that, tomato juice. Yes. Yeah, the nutritional you know composition again is so unique because you are now removing the fiber mm -hmm. but you are taking concentrated of the nutrients because now it's now it is now juice okay so here because we have com combined this to other food you, we can have unique nutrients if yes. we try to go to the you know analyzer and then have the composition you'll you will discover that it has unique nutrients so maybe we can just decorate your your bagoong here. Okay, let's see. And there's garlic in it. So um, garlic is one of the best spices that um, it's full of nutrients, right, Doc? Mm -hmm. It's full of phytochemicals. Yeah, it's really garlic has its own, its own unique nutrients. Hmm. Now, if you have beans like this and this one is just boiled, maybe you can just put on top a little. So this is green peas, right? Mm -hmm. Boiled green peas. Just a little mm -hmm. because this is just. Now, maybe our viewers right now can imagine some of the vegetables that can be, can be substituted like, you know, boiled baguio beans. Wow, that's perfect. Wow. Perfect with this. About boiled okra. Baguio, boiled okra. Yes. And not only that, the cabbage, the, we used oh, to yes, boil the cabbage, cabbage, right, without anything on it. Mm -hmm. So we boil the cabbage and then you just dip it in your, in your bagoong. I, I'm sure you're so excited I'm to taste this one. Very excited. <laughs> okay, let's try to taste. Yay. <laughs> if this one is okay. How we wish. We can give you a piece. We can share with you the I'll taste I'll just eat today. for you guys. <laughs> and, and I'm sure the staff of the HCB and <laughs> you, you, later we'll give you. They're now excited and they they would like to it's taste really this It's really good. One. It tastes like real bagoong. It's really good. Mm. Mm. You know what? Even kids can have this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you like to come to prepare your you know the western salad we used to prepare the western salad like carrots and cucumber mm. and lettuce mm. so instead of putting your mayo or your high fat dressing this one can actually be used and i think you can actually use this as a viand I mean, if you have rice and yeah, you have this. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> this is perfect for kare kare. Mm. Uh -huh. um, I used to cook kare kare with puso and saging and eggplant and sitaw and then make it a little bit lost salt. So instead of just putting the regular seasoning, this one can actually enhance mm -hmm. the, the taste. Ah, by the way, if you have boiled talong, mm -hmm. boiled eggplant, just boil your eggplant and then put on top this bagoong and you'll have the good taste of real veg <laughs> real bagoong not real bagoong <laughs> real vegetarian bagoong uh, because the secret actually is in the umami of the tomatoes mm. so it tastes like fish huh yes it's yeah? true and it looks like you know i'm um, grinded ground fish grinded ground fish mm. and if you want really to turn this into real fish the secret is this put your um the sushi the Ooh, sushi. the seaweeds okay put the the seaweeds and and, and you'll have really the smell of the fish mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this one can actually be served in the regular occasion in any regular occasion this can also be served in the parties all you have to do is just cook in advance so that you'll have you know relaxed time in yes. the, on the date of that special occasion S cook this and you can preserve this for several months mm. if you have good 
uh, pre no, good container, sterilized container, and then good. So you have to put it temperature. You have to in put it ref. inside the freezer or just no in ref? the ref. Because oh, okay. if you put this in the freezer, it might you know later on you can see there is water that will mm -hmm. come out from your from your mixture. But again, if you will be putting this into the in in the freezer, yeah, you can still do it, but you have to cook it again. Okay. Yeah. But if you will be putting this just in the ref, you don't need to reheat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just you just wait until it becomes um, so similar the same as room temperature. So, here, do you think we can still add garlic from our Yes, yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. And there we, I think we could add a lot of, you know, spices. It depends on your taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, you can put as what you have said, you can put chili mm -hmm. on it. Yeah? Yes. The chili, the red pepper. Now, if you will be putting the fresh red pepper, I think I want to definitely eat it will have a unique taste. No, mm -hmm. um, you, you can smell the red uh, the red pepper. Now, some of you who are um, a little bit into the parties, you can put some garnishing when you preserve this mm. one. Okay, so you can have a, diff, a separate container for your uh, bagoong vegetarian, and then you can have your other vegetable beside plus garnishing. By the way, those of you who are watching us, and you have broccoli, and Ooh. broccoli is not really expensive in your place. Yeah, you can also use your boiled broccoli or cauliflower, and then you can dip this in yes. your vegetarian bagoong. And it's a, such a simple dish, mm -hmm. it's such a simple thing to do. No, no cooking, no baking. No baking. I mean, you cook, but it's, it's really so easy. easy. Even within, kids can do it, actually. You can have it within minutes, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, so... The only thing here is you should remember that the proportion of salt, you know, the beans, the black beans, and the tomatoes can have a wide variety of taste. It depends upon your taste. If you want a little bit salty, so that's the time you have mm -hmm. to eat this to add more of this. If you, are, if you will be serving this to a hypertensive patient, definitely you cannot add more, so you just add very little. And the rest of the your dishes should actually be low salt mm. because we want really the controlled sodium level for hypertensive patients. You know, j you know, Marianne, we had a nice time yes, today, me too. and I'm sure our viewers have enjoyed a lot, and they are now excited experimenting later on. I on think this. I'll cook this again. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you try to yes, experiment try on it. the variation. We keep on saying that good food is not everything when it comes to health. But without it, everything is nothing. Thank you very much for watching our show, Kitchen Treasures. Thank you very much. Thank Mian. you. Wow.